Hello YouTube, my name is Camlam99 and today I'm going to be recording in OBS a second time. I Last time I recorded in this I absolutely fucking hated it, it just was way too much trouble but I've changed a few things in it now so the, hopefully the audio will be better, the video will be better and it might be in 60 frames per second since I'm going to be editing it in Sony Vegas this time because Camtasia has had that many fucking problems lately and After Effects has um, just taken way too fucking long, I only use that for my outros now. But... Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Don't Starve Together. Now, this game, it does work with LAN, so with Hamachi and possibly Tungle and stuff like that, you can play with other people, but you can't just join, like, Gary's Mod, and you can't just join and look for a public servers or whatever, because it's in offline mode, but you can still play LAN. Now, I was trying to do it with someone, but Hamachi wasn't working with me at the time, and I'm not really... I don't know too much about it, but... If I find, because how much he can be, like, a bitch and a half, because it can work sometimes, not work the next, and it's, it's kind of hard to say. Um, Tungle, though, is a lot more complicated at it. I use Tungle for, like, Black Ops and, um, Redact Retracted or some shit like that, but if you're just wanting to play this in single player, then this video will be perfect, but if you're wanting multiplayer, then I not sure what to do. This does have working multiplayer with this download but I'm not going to show you how to do it in this because I don't have way to show it. I don't have anyone I can connect with. Um, I tried it yesterday connecting with someone it just didn't work out um, how much it wasn't working so I'm not going to try with that but I might create a new video on it or if you want to watch someone else um, do it. I just don't want to waste anyone's time or any more time than I have to. So if you just want to play the single player this works perfectly. Um, but still multiplayer can work. I'm just not going to show it in this video if that if that makes sense to you. So the first thing you're going to need is uTorrent. Just go to the first link in the description and go to get uTorrent for Windows or click on other platforms if you're Mac or Linux. Um, no. So Mac, Linux, Windows. I'm Windows though so I will click on this and then down here get uTorrent for Windows. Now that will prompt me to save it the destination and I'm going to cancel this now because I already have it but just run that now, the problem with pet or ISO, which I'll tell you in a second, but also I um ordered the blue snowball, if you can see it here, PC case gear, uh, whatever. But I ordered the blue snowball. That should should have been here today, but I think it's two one to two business days, so I might not get it till for another two days because it's been Saturday and Sunday. Um, also, this video was being recorded at three ten p.m. This will not be up till at least six or something or possibly even seven because I gotta fuck around with editing and stuff to try and make it better possibly 60 frames per second maybe that'll take longer but with Sony Vegas Pro I'm also not good with editing and that so this may take a lot longer to get used to and stuff um but hopefully the sound quality will improve when I get the blue snowball I also ordered a pop filter on it but that won't come for another 10 days or so or possibly even longer because it's business days um so sorry about the all backstory stuff but just get uTorrent, once it's installed it should look like this only, you won't have anything in it. I stopped to download before so I can actually make this video, I was using up all the internet. Um, internet's pretty slow today, also I'm in like the worst room, I only have two bars or something. Uh, if you can see that. What else is there? So once you got that and you got this all running, now get power ISO which is in the, oh shit. Um, refresh it. Alright, so it'll look like this. Now just go, you'll already be in the download area, so this area. If it's gonna load. Fuck's sake. Alright, so 32 bit or 64 bit. To find out what you are, just go down to this on Windows 7, 8, and 10. I'll uh, just right click down here and go to System and you will see 64-bit operating system. Now I used to say 64 or 32. Now I used to think that if it was 64-bit operating it'd be 64 base or if it was 32 it'd be 86 base. It doesn't matter this over here. Um, it's just 64-bit or 32-bit and whichever that is is what you get. Now the problem with Power ISO now, I'll, I'll show you through this. Um, they might change this up. Originally when they first had this out they had nothing in it but I um, saw I like helped someone through it last night and they would have gotten so much shit. So I'm just going to click on 64 bit here and I'm actually going to um, 
download this so I can show you how to avoid all the stuff. Now, this does, it's not like viruses or anything, but it can be really fucking annoying. Uh, shit like toolbars and installing shit that you don't want. I'm going to show you how to avoid all that because they are sneaky motherfuckers when um, they do this shit. And it really pisses me off how they try and um, just hide this kind of shit from people and install shit they don't want on their computer because I've... First time I had Power ISO would have been a couple of years ago or a few years ago or some shit. And they never had any shit with this. It was just straightforward uh, next, next download. uTorrent is still pretty much that way. There might be one or two things in it, but this is how they make more money with their things because people pay them to put their shit in there so they can scam people or whatever. But Power ISO is good. Also, this does look like um, a fucking scam website or whatever. Someone told me that. Uh, it does look pretty dodgy. Uh, you can do the buy now thing, but this is a free thing. It won't. It's not like when you download it, or tell you now you must buy after 30 days. This is completely free all the time. The only thing it will do is at the start you have to wait five seconds, um, like with AdFly. So just wait five seconds and then click continue or skip or whatever. So now that this is done, when it's done, just now I'm going to run it up and you'll get a prompt. Just click yes. I'm going to show you, I'm not actually going to install this, but I'll show you what to do. So just the I agree, that's all good, nothing hidden in there. Now, install additional software. This is where they try and fuck everyone over with. Now, search offer. Un so this will be checked, uncheck that. If, are you serious, you're not responding, you fucking potato. <sighs> Great. Alright, i got to wait for this to respond now. So, oh my god, it's chewing up my fucking CPU. Alright, so, my CPU is just at max for a second. Um, what are you doing? Oh, that's open, ro are you serious? Alright, so open, the recording thing is actually chewing up most of this, so, um, I guess I'll have to down some settings on it, I guess. But with the search thing, uh, uncheck this and this, because this basically says I agree to all my choices, and... They try and, you, know, you normally think, okay, agree, next, 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 to get past their shit. But this is like search off for Powered by Bing. And that one's not too bad because, you know, they got the thing up there. And then this one's not too bad either because Registry um, Optimizer. So untick that. Next. Uh, this is just the installation file thing. So I would. This isn't it, is it? Okay, I'm going to rerun this because I saw some really fucking sneaky ones. Um, see if I can get them all. You know what I mean? So, do, oh, this is, they're just random things. That's going to be annoying. Uh, so, uncheck these. Uncheck. I guess they hit it. Or got rid of it. Alright, that's weird, but there was some other ones and it basically had a split line thing and says... It looks all normal and they don't have any checkboxes, but it says click here if you want to see additional options. And the additional options were to uninstall them. So do be careful um, with Power ISO because I might try and install some shit under your eyes. You can still uninstall it any time afterwards. Um, they're not like fucking Trojan viruses or anything. But they are really fucking annoying if you have them for too long. Stuff like uh, Clean My PC or stuff like that, um, where they try and steal all your stuff on your PC. So, on to the next thing. Now that you've got Power ISO you're going to get the actual torrent itself. Now, if I can find it, where'd I put it? Don't start together. Um, got so many times now. So don't start together. It's only four, or just under 400 megabytes. So it's a really full smaller size. It did take me 10 hours and 13 minutes because I download a shit ton of things at once. Normally, um, a lot of them are finished now, so I'm just downloading some seasons. But, yeah, it's um, a very small file size. It'll probably take you um, 10 minutes if you got really fast Wi-Fi, maybe an hour if you got really slow Wi-Fi. It normally takes an hour to get down my Garry's mod, which is about a gigabyte big. So, when it's first going, it will say downloading and be a dark blue, and then it will go seeding, which I'll see if I can replicate here. I start it up. Nope, it's checking it. Oh, wait, that'll take really fast. So, once it's done and ready, it will say queued seed. No, seeding, and it'll go light green. So you'll see it like this. Now you just want to right click on it and it goes stops and then it will say finished and that's when it's good. You can leave them seeding which can help other people out. But I just stopped them because, I don't know, I can. Finished, uh, I guess. 
So once you're done with that, just double click on it, and now this is what you'll need power ISO for. Now you'll see power ISO file, it might just say disk image file at first for you. Ignore this thing up here, it's just some um, writing shit. If you want to open that up, just open with and WordPad. And you can see that I put a bunch of shit in here, like instructions, but that's what I'm here for. So, you want to, now there used to be, um, on your desktop, you used to just open it up from here and do everything. Now there's a lot easier, a much easier way actually, um, doing it from here, which I'm going to do from now on. So, just right click on it and you'll see power ISO down here if you've installed it properly. Now what you want to do first, because you won't see this mountain image, you want to see your set number of drives and set your drive to one. Or two, you can do it as many as you want, but you'll only need one drive for this and most things because they uninstall themselves afterwards because you don't need them. So set this to one drive. Now your computer will need to restart if you if you're originally on disabled. Now what this does is basically acts as a fake CD drive. So for installing games and stuff. Now they also use these to hide files so um, antiviruses won't. Uh, pick up on cracks and stuff and try and delete them which is a lot better and I do prefer these type of files because it's nice and clean in here and once they're done so you can see the CD drive there G um, they won't always be G it can be uh, X it can be any single um, letter in the alphabet but it won't matter so once you got one once it's set to one drives in here just go here mount image to drive now it doesn't matter what drive it is but it should say no media so just click on that once you own the plaza thing and that does it pretty much instantly so now we'll go to this PC and you'll see don't start together on the G drive or CD drive or whatever it is so open it up and now you'll see the setup in here and the plaza now this is going to be pretty loud so I'll try and pause it um, accept the thingy and this will stop playing music alright just pause that so choose the drive you want it on I put all my games onto Z drive now I'm not going to press the install button because I've already got this installed, I don't want to reinstall it. It doesn't take long at all though. Maybe 10 minutes at max. I think it takes five minutes. took like five minutes for me. But choose the drive that you want it on. If you if it's on C drive, that's the normal drive. So if you're on a laptop or something, or you only have one hard drive or you don't know what any of this is, chances are you only have one drive and that's the C drive. Um, D drive is uh, mostly for the actual DVD player or whatever. So that's why you see C and D isn't here. But choose any drive you want. I have the F drive, I think. Yeah, that's my USB E drive. Oh, that's just a similar thing. So, just if you did C drive, then you will normally have it on, it'll be like in program files or something. But choose whatever drive you want. I'm going to go with Z. Create desktop shortcut. Those are these things here. So, if you can see these little arrow things, those are all shortcuts. Everything on your desktop should be a shortcut, except for stuff like. Um, recycle being in notes and stuff, they're not shortcuts, they don't need to be, and stuff like this PC, they wouldn't be shortcuts, but that's what a shortcut is, so if you want this on your PC like this, like I have here, the don't starve thing, then just leave that ticked. The create start menu folder, I always leave that ticked and you always should too, because if anything gets, let's say you accidentally delete all the shortcuts on your PC, yes you can restore them from your recycle bin, but I did do that once and I fucked up. Oh my god, okay, let's sort of find you the much in malware. I don't, no, I wouldn't be from this because I haven't downloaded this yet. I don't know. Viruses are all fucking everywhere. Removing it Friday. Alright, I'll see what those are afterwards. There could just be actual viruses I picked up from shit, but don't worry about any viruses with these things. I know that may look bad. Um, but yeah, if you're too worried, then buy the games, but there is no problem. If you're paranoid, then buy the games, or just take my word for it. Uh, put it on a shitty computer that you don't like or something, and if it gets a virus, then don't do it on your good computer. Now, you can press this button down here, pause by the way, to stop that annoying music, or just drag the volume down, or whatever. So, do not create, um, I don't, I'm not sure about this, that's kind of personal preference, I guess. But with the copy contents, you're going to want to click this. Now, this is basically the crack. This copies all... Because if you leave that unticked, you can't actually play the game. It will show... It will like, bring up Steam if you have it. Now, I have Steam, and it interferes with no of my game, like none of my games. I just use it for free games, like uh, Team Fortress 2. I also got Chroma Gun for free. Um, someone gave me a key for that. So, those games are alright, but... Um, if it opens up Steam for you, make sure you tick to this box down here, copy contents to Plaza directory to install DLR. Now that basically means in here, this is the crack. So it takes these files, which is 
it makes it's it lasts steam okay is this person actually bought the game or is this a crack and it's like oh no he bought it and it acts as if someone's actually bought it so it's kind of weird how it works and I'll show you some other things um, afterwards like changing a name um, for multiplayer especially because if you don't change your name and you try and join a server someone else might have that name and it can really fuck up even in just single player if you want your own name so now after that you would just simply click install um, but I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to waste any time and I've already got it so it won't take long at all I believe at the end it will say um, some things if it might prompt you to say uh, run a few things now I do suggest running every single one of those because they can help out if the game's not running now I'm just going to close that down but you just have to install it now I'm going to open up the file location of this which you will get on your desktop if you left it ticked so in here now I'm going to go take you through a few things that, that will help so go to V credits first and run this V credits thing now just go next I've read install so these things can help you so much with games when they're not running um, but some people don't really listen or they just like watch the part of the video or download the links this is why you should watch the videos or at least parts of them that are like this important so now I'm just going to click finish and I'll go to DX credits and go type so I can get the DX set up to the top yes I accept next next these things don't hide anything like power ISO does now so you don't have to worry these like windows things um, that windows includes with your it's kinda of like Java um, and essential for games don't quote me on that I'm not 100% but still so you can see all these DLL files uh, like .dll and everything now a lot of times games will say missing DLL dot something and all that stuff this has so many ones that can be missing from your thing do not google them because I used to do that and I used to get so many fucking viruses on my computer but this is the actual windows way of fixing all that and it's really cool that I include these in most games um, that would need them Garry's mod is a really big one where people had a lot of errors in them um... so this should be finished anytime soon you're gonna hurry up alright and just click finish now I don't... oh and underscore common redis go to directx june and this again this seems to be the same thing but I just run them all for like triple fucking checking everything so I'm just gonna let that run in the background because I don't wanna watch that again but the other thing is if you go to bin which is where the don't stop thing is if I can actually find it might not be in bin actually data where are you is it steam api alright so it's in the steam api if you right click on oh shit so if you right click on don't starve together and go open file location you'll be in the bin area uh, open up the steam underscore api not the d cdx file the configuration settings file so it'll have like that weird um cog there next to it so scroll down all the way and you'll see username at the bottom now i've already changed this normally i think it's oh what was it it's the people who made the torrent uh... plaza so normally it's set as plaza like that or something like that or codex i think it is um... but just change it to whatever you want do not put a space at the start these cannot have spaces because then they don't pick them up like that it does not pick it up otherwise so just make sure it's a straight equals username and set it to whatever you want uh... don't change any of these app ids or anything you can change the language if you want if you think it might work offline you want to keep that to one but the rest of these things do not touch any of them because it might fuck with the entire game um... you can do like dlcs and that unlocks every single dlc in it um, so you do have a few dlc as the start i think they'll say and also make sure when you click x save now if some people say they can't edit the files try right clicking on it go to properties and if it's checked as read only so if you see i apply that and it's like that then if i open it up and let's say I try to change this to Camlam 9992 um, then I try to save it wouldn't let me, It's uh, try to save somewhere else so make sure that you right click on it go to properties and uncheck read only and apply ok that does happen with a lot of things um, like host files as well um, so if you can't edit things and ask for that just right click properties and uncheck read only that will help 90% of the time um, trying to think of anything else I think that's pretty much it for the video. Um, I don't want to spend too much time trying to get this out, but 
just trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, so you can um go to if you want to see mods and how to get those, I'll show you. I'll make a video on that. Um, but like you can just go to the Steam if I went to store at Steam Build. Now I don't think this is the actual area for it, but don't starve together. I uh, don't starve. See if it actually work. Are you going to go to it now? My internet is so fucking slow. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm not going to show you that, but if you just know about Gary's mod with the add-ons and everything, that's pretty much the same way this works. Um, So, oh, they actually have a uh, thing in here. So, there you go. If you want to, um, I might not have to make a video on it, but if you do want a video, I'll make it on it. So you can just go down... Uh, copy this link and put that in your thing. Start the game, go to mods, and yeah, because I saw a mod things, making mods. If you're interested in making a mod for this game, um, just do whatever. Control, okay. So they include those, that's really nice of them. So, apart from that, my name is KenLem909. Like if this video helped, dislike if it didn't, comment any other games, comment any other games you want to see. Subscribe if you want to see more shit like this. I'm trying to do two of these every day, it might just be. Um, I might skip a day and then do it the next day, or I might do two in um, two days and then not do one the next day or something like that. It depends on what's happening. If I got to, because I might be moving soon and shit like that. So if I am moving, then I have to pack up all this shit. But I will make a video. We'll try to make a video before any of that shit happens. If any of you care about that at all. But after this, I did want to do The Sims 4, but I've still got a bug in that which I'm trying to fix. So maybe I'll do Stardew Valley or Payday 2. Someone asked. Um, other games. Far Cry 4 is a good one. I fucking love that game. Far Cry Primal isn't yet cracked. and finish. Uh, Far Cry Primal isn't yet cracked. Um, Saints Row 4, I just got that. Um, I remember playing Saints Row 3 a while ago, and I just love the way the helicopters and everything worked in that. But I much prefer shooting in the GTA 5. If you want to see any of these games being done, be sure to check out my channel and do search, because I'm just going to go quickly through the ones that I have done and that I've remembered. So... Remember doing that. I've done CSGO and Gary's mod. Modern Warfare 3 I've done. I think I've done, yeah, I've done Turn of More. Um, Worms and Battlefield I've done. I don't, no, I haven't done Payday. Parkitect I've done that. Uh, Scrap Mechanic done that. Hotline Mary 2 done that. So those are the ones that I can remember doing, and there's like a lot of other games I've done um, before this. Gary's mod seems to be the main one that everyone loves. I don't know if it's because it's multiplayer or if it's awesome or it's based around mods and add-ons and everything. I just fucking loved Gary's mod. And it's, you don't need a good computer for any, anything. Uh, Fallout 4 is kind of a bitch for that, but um, it's a good game. A really good game. I've been playing a lot of GTA 5 though recently. I'm uh, mostly in first per person doing my own little challenges. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Um, I'm doing like one of these every two days or whatever, maybe. I'll do one tutorial and then one game in video, one tutorial, one game in video, I'm not sure. Um, i still got to get a proper schedule for all this stuff because my sleep pattern is absolutely fucked now. I normally would be asleep now. Um, I'd be asleep to like... i uh, normally sleep around... I'd fall asleep around... I'm trying to think. It'd probably be like 6 or 7 a.m. And then I'd wake up back around... Probably 12 or 11 p.m. But it's getting more and more into place now, so I woke up this morning at around 7am after going to sleep around 8 or whatever, so my sleep pattern is still fucked up and everything. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Camlin909, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, hopefully this isn't in 60 frames per second.